I'm Britt Marino. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. The home of the unsinkable Molly Brown is looking a little bit brighter these days. The Molly Brown house just had a facelift. Our Tori Mason is at the home in Capitol Hill. And Tori, this is all about preserving an important story in state history. Absolutely, Britt. And if it weren't for historic Denver restoring that Molly Brown house in 1970, this iconic piece of history would have been torn down. Since then, more than two million people have walked through Cap Hill's little piece of the past. And nearly half a century later, historic Denver has given this home new life once again. This is the Molly Brown House's first restoration in over 40 years. So the museum spared no expense on its TLC. More than $1 million was spent restoring its classic carriage house roof, beautiful stained glass windows, and of course, that iconic front porch. The museum also added new exhibit space and an education center, along with modifications to make touring the house more accessible. The museum director says a highlight of this restoration is the new ability to see the Capitol's gold dome and those cathedral spires from that front porch. We feel that the Molly Brown House Museum is the perfect place for visitors to come because it really is the story of Denver. Who we were as a city over 100 years ago, um, how gold and silver played into that, and all of the amazing people that made Denver our city. Now, more than $2 million was raised from community supporters for this restoration. What wasn't used will be placed into an emergency fund just in case any new work needs to happen. Because if Molly Brown could be unsinkable, so can her house. We're live in Denver. Tori Mason covering Colorado first. It certainly is rising above. Thank you, Tori, for that. And a big move under.